Hello, and thank you for watching this short video on the SBTI's Net Zero Criteria public consultation. This video is part of a series of FAQ videos taking a deeper dive into the science based initiatives Net Zero Criteria draft and addressing some frequently asked questions about the criteria. In this video, I will be addressing the SBTI Net Zero Standard project development process and the current Net Zero Criteria public consultation. Before I get started, I want to quickly review a brief disclaimer. The views presented here in the public consultation document are a work in progress. They represent the views of its authors and incorporate perspectives conveyed by the expert advisory group of the Net Zero Project. It is not meant to represent a definitive position of the science-based targets initiative, nor the official position of any of the SBTI partner organizations, nor of any of the organizations participating in the Net Zero Expert Advisory Group. Because this work is a work in progress, it may still change, perhaps profoundly. Whilst every attempt is made to ensure that the information in this presentation is correct, the SBTI accepts no responsibility for its content or for any consequence to any individual or company as a result of decisions following advice or guidance contained here. The objective of the SBTI Net Zero Standard Project is to develop an international standard with requirements and guidance on corporate net zero target setting. The standard is expected to create consistency and transparency in corporate net zero target setting and will be the basis for driving the adoption of corporate net zero targets that are consistent with action needed to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius, minimizing trade-offs with other sustainable development goals. The project was kicked off with a paper on the definition of net zero for corporate sector, and by the end of this project, the SBTI net zero standard is expected to include the following components. One, a criteria for the formulation of science-based net zero targets in the corporate sector. Two, a validation protocol to assess net zero targets against the set of criteria to be, to be developed as a part of this process. And three, a guidance for setting science-based net zero targets in the corporate sector, including a guidance for credible claims. The project began with the development of the Net Zero Foundations paper that was released in September 2020. This paper describes the technical and conceptual foundations that will guide the development of the standard. This includes the definition of net zero, the role of abatement, removals, compensation, and other key elements. You can find the full document and its executive summary on the SBTI Net Zero webpage, and you can also learn more about the paper in the Net Zero Foundations video in this FAQ series. The SBTI is following a balanced, transparent, and inclusive stakeholder process to develop the Net Zero standard. As part of this process, the SBTI has convened an expert advisory group um, that has balanced representation from stakeholders to provide expert advice and direction throughout the development of the criteria. I'll go more into detail on the expert advisory group later on in this presentation. Additionally, there are going to be two phases of public consultation to gather feedback from a wider range of stakeholders. Um, the first one is the net zero criteria public consultation, which is open right now until March 12th, and the net zero guidance public consultation and road testing that's planned for this summer in 2021. Throughout the development process, the SBTI is engaging on a regular basis also with permanent advisory groups, such as the technical advisory group and the scientific advisory group. Decisions that are developed throughout the building process and all outputs are subject to comprehensive and rigorous reviews by stakeholders. So the Net Zero Expert Advisory Group is a group of about 25 volunteer advisors listed here with professional backgrounds in business, civil society, academia, multilateral organizations, um, and they have expertise in voluntary admissions reduction target setting um, in a corporate context and also in-depth knowledge of climate change mitigation from a diversity of perspectives. The primary objective for this EAG is to serve in a technical advisory capacity for the initiative and to provide requested input advice to the SBTI throughout the development of the drafts. The Net Zero Standard Project began in October 2020 after the publication of the Net Zero Foundations paper. The Net Zero Criteria was then developed and published on January 28, 2021 
um, for public consultation. This public consultation deadline was extended by two weeks and it's now open until March 12th. Once the net zero criteria public consultation is closed, we will review and integrate the feedback and um, integrate it into the net zero criteria. The final criteria will then be published later in the spring, and we will move on to drafting the net zero guidance, which will be released for a public consultation and road testing in the summer. The final SBTI net zero standard will then be ready for launch in the fall of 2021 for COP26. And that brings me to the criteria public consultation. Um, the net zero criteria is structured into five sections outlined here. So first there's the general criteria, including the net zero target framework and milestones and greenhouse gas inventory. Then there's net zero target criteria, including ambition for emissions abatement, target boundary for emissions abatement and neutralization. Then we have the interim target criteria, which includes the interim science based targets. Then we have communication claims and validity criteria. This includes target formulation and reporting and target validity and recalculation. Finally, there's an appendix, including optional compensation actions. The other videos in the series are going to take a closer look into some of the sections, and we encourage you to take a look at those videos. We also encourage you to read the net zero criteria and invite you to provide your feedback. Please note that the public consultation is going to be open until March 12th. You can also find all of the materials on our net zero webpage. This includes the criteria draft, a PDF version of the key questions, the link to the survey, links to this video series, and the recording and slides of our public consultation launch webinars. To provide your feedback, please submit your responses through the survey that's hosted on SurveyMonkey. Once the public consultation closes, the survey responses will be aggregated and summarized on a non-attributional basis. So your responses will be anonymous. Although the responses will be visible to the Net Zero team that is, that is analyzing the feedback, comments will not be attributed to the organization outside of that group. Usually, however, the organizations that respond to the public consultation are listed in the final document as contributors to the public consultation. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me with any questions. You can find my email here on the page. It's paulina.tarrant at sciencebasedtargets.org. And with that, I want to thank you for watching this video. Please tune in to the other videos of this series, and we hope that you contribute your feedback to the Net Zero Criteria public consultation. We look forward to reading your responses. Thank you so much.